So the Commercial Crew Program is really approaching human space flight in a brand new way. Uh, for years and decades, we've been approaching it uh, as a, a government uh, managed, a government owned uh, it processes to set up uh, systems to meet the government's needs. Now we're working with industry to help industry to be able to develop their own systems to meet our needs and the needs of other users of those systems. So this means that we'll be able to get our people to space, but also other people will be able to get to space on those same systems. Well, so for the last few years, uh, the NASA has been investing in industry to develop the capabilities for uh, companies to be able to, with their own systems, take people to low Earth orbit. And now we're beginning a phase where we're looking to reap the benefits from that investment and be able to take our uh, astronauts to the International Space Station. There's a lot of exciting research being done on the International Space Station. Um, I like to think of it as two different groups. Uh, the first group uh, being of looking in a microgravity environment um, at the, the kinds of things that are, uh, happen when you mix different uh, chemicals or you look at different materials, form and crystals to help us under the really understand the fundamental science behind a lot of uh, the things that we uh, use every day and that we, we use to build the things we need. And by that fundamental science, it'll help us to make new medicines, be able to help make new materials to make, help make lighter products or stronger things that we can use in airplanes, cell phones, anything. And the other group of the uh, things we, we're doing on the space station uh, is related to getting ready to explore beyond low Earth orbit. Uh, it's studying the effects of microgravity on our astronauts um, and also trying out new technologies that we can use for years in space um, before we venture all, all the way to Mars or something like that. Going to space is not a um, like walking down to the, the park. It's, an, it's a, a dangerous endeavor, um, but with our, our brave astronauts and working with the, the company's innovative solutions, um, they're making the systems um, good enough to meet our needs, but they're not uh, pushing the, the envelope in either um, you know, reduced safety or, or making things so uh, fancy that we can't afford it anymore. Um, so we're, we're, the balance that we're, we're striking right now um, is, gives us a lot of confidence that we'll be able to make this work. So I'm very confident that we're going to be able to not only produce these systems to meet our needs, but they'll be safe. Um, the, the, uh, we've worked to come up with our, our safety requirements to help set uh, you know, what it is we need in terms of safety, and we're allowing industry to address those needs in whatever ways that they can come up with. So we're unleashing the American ingenuity to come up with the right ways to, to meet those safety requirements. The uh, commercial crew program has the, the near-term benefit of helping to uh, you know, allow us to get our crews to and from space station, um, but it fits into the overall big picture for NASA's exploration plans. Um, by allowing industry to take the lead on a lot of the getting um, cargo and crew to and from low Earth orbit, it's going to allow NASA to be able to push beyond low Earth orbit and to accomplish you know, exploration objectives, whether it's to the moon, asteroids, Mars, um, and uh, with, with industry um, helping to shoulder the burden and take advantage of a lot of the work that NASA and, and industry has done uh, to date uh, in low Earth orbit.